Chancellor Angela Merkel's first stop in Istanbul was the opening ceremony of the new campus of a Turkish-German university. Ankara and Berlin have extensive cultural and economic ties, but the two nations are looking for a fresh start in a new decade, and their leaders could be hoping 2020 brings about progress on some prickly issues. For starters, there's Libya's complex civil war. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan took part in a peace conference in Berlin earlier this month. Having deployed troops to Libya, Turkey has become one of the key players there. The EU's 2016 refugee deal with Turkey will most likely be up for discussion too. Under that agreement, Turkey must stop migrants from crossing into EU territory in exchange for billions of euros to help look after the refugees it hosts. Erdogan has warned he can't uphold his end of the deal if fighting in Syria's Idlib province causes more people to flee. Merkel, though, is likely to urge Erdogan to stick with the pact. Finally, Germany will probably seek answers over the issue of German nationals detained in Turkish prisons or banned from leaving the country. Some are dual Turkish nationals and have suffered under the government's crackdown on dissent following the failed military coup three and a half years ago. DW's Yulia Han is covering Chancellor Merkel's visit to Istanbul and she joins us for more. Hi, Yulia. Good to see you. As we heard there, there are plenty of issues for these two leaders uh, to discuss. Tell us what's going to top the agenda today. Well, yes, the list of issues that might potentially come up during today's talks between the German Chancellor and President Erdogan in the premises right behind me here is quite long. The crisis in Syria, in Libya, in Iran. But uh, from what we understand, the so-called migrant pact will be high on the agenda. The number of migrants trying to cross into the European Union from Turkey illegally has gone up sharply in recent months in the past year. And there are fears that the war in Syria's Idlib province could cause many more people to flee and try to cross into Turkey. Now, this migration pact signed in 2016 between Ankara and the European Union is looking more fragile the longer it is in place. Uh, Turkish President Erdogan has repeatedly threatened to open the gates for migrants to Europe, as he put it, basically saying he can shoulder the burden of hosting nearly four million refugees here in Turkey alone. He is also accused the EU of not having paid and sent the promised six billion euros of aid money, which the EU says is not true. Now, Chancellor Merkel, on the other hand, has made this pact the core, the center of her migration policy. So my take is she's here in Istanbul today to make sure Turkey, the Turkish president, is still committed to that deal. Julia, at the same time, relations between Germany and Turkey uh, have deteriorated over the past few years. What needs to happen to improve those relations? Well, some visible attempts are being made today. Just a little earlier, the German Chancellor and uh, President Erdogan inaugurated a new campus of the Turkish German University here in Istanbul, a place where students from both countries can study together. Merkel has called it an extraordinary project of cooperation. Erdogan called her my dear friend. Uh, but of course, these displays of harmony can't hide the fact that there is a lot of tension still there in this relationship. You've mentioned German citizens allegedly for political reasons here in Turkish jails, uh, press freedom, freedom of opinion have uh, come under attack here in Turkey increasingly. That's something the German chancellor has repeatedly criticized and many here in Turkey but also at home in Germany hope she'll find some clear words today. Now the Turkish side on the other hand has repeatedly accused Germany of aiding terrorists of the outlawed PKK for example. So I think it takes a lot and it's still long way to go until these relations between Germany and Turkey can be called normal again. Yuli, given that uh, backdrop, what concretely do you think we can expect to come out of today's meeting? Well, I don't have uh, too uh, high expectations there. I'm, I'm not expecting any breakthrough initiatives to be announced, but probably Chancellor Merkel wants to take home a commitment by Erdogan that he still upholds this migration pact and Erdogan for himself will press for political concessions under this refugee deal. For example, visa liberalization for his citizens. That's something he has promised his citizens that they can travel more easily into the European Union. Our correspondent, Yulia Han, reporting there for us in Istanbul. Thank you.